So our commitment is to biodiversity and that's why we're interested in what happens with the red dikers. The red dikers, we started to realize the red diker population was growing um, about uh, 12 months ago. There was a study made of the numbers of red dikers and it was estimated that there are something like 65. They've been starting to move out of the reserve and that's had some tragic consequences. For example, just about five months ago, one was killed by dogs up the road here. Others had been hit by cars, one drowned in a swimming pool and so on. The relocation, it started by us having complaints, seeing most of the animals going outside the reserve. Then we decided that something might be wrong inside. So we've asked the EPCPD, who have ecologists, to come and do a study on what is going on within the reserve, because we could see that there's a problem. If most of our animals go outside the boundary, it means something is happening inside. So they came and we did a population analysis in a form of population counts where they discovered that we have exceeded the carrying capacity. The red dacre which were introduced a long time ago and we've introduced five and now we've got an estimate of 60 which means in an 11 hectare reserve, it's such a huge number. So the recommendations were that we need to relocate some of the species. Today we are here to actually remove some of the um, uh, dikers and, uh, and relocate it to some of the reserves um, in and around Durban. The aim is actually to conserve the uh, gene pool and also to make sure that uh, we don't have inbreeding happening in the, the reserve. So I think it's, 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 I'm proud to actually say today we are reaping the fruits of our conservation effort and I think it will go a long way uh, uh, in, our, in our history books to have these things and also it will go a long way to, to relocate it to other reserves. You know, we want to create linkages um, and this is one of the things with this National Indigenous Botanic Garden that we're trying to create is to link up all these natural areas so that we interchange ideas and we cooperate and for, for the benefit you know conservation which as we know is under severe pressure. This is a crew of our students. We make sure that today they are here to get the experience of the whole capturing and the whole process of wildlife management. So they are here today to have a feel and a touch. Uh, we're very excited about the uh, program that we're about to engage in today. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice experience, I must say, and uh, different from what we haven't done it before. So uh, we're much excited to learn something new today. Everything went well today. Um, we had a good day catching six red darker in a day. Darting is quite a, an achievement. Um, they are very elusive and skittish animals, so to get six in a day, I think it went really, really well.
And then, yeah, the trip down, they were nice and relaxed, they were nicely tranquilised and brought them here to Mdoni Park and it looks beautiful um, and I really think they're going to they're gonna enjoy their stay here. We are at um, Pennington in Doni Golf Club. We just arrived from uh, Etekwini and uh, we arrived and we just released um, six uh, red acres that came from Pigeon Valley Nature Reserve. I'm very excited um, about the whole operation. Since we left um, Doni, um, animals didn't show any sign of stress or anything while we were on the road up until we arrive here and we find everyone here they're very excited and waiting for these animals it's like we've just brought them something that they've been waiting for for so many years and when we arrive here we could see on their faces everyone is just excited to see us arriving with the animals i think one we need to end up by saying we thank uh, our uh, provincial authority the kzn wildlife uh, for donating this uh, six that they gave us which have now bred uh, to two numbers exceeding 50. So I think the partnership between ourselves and the KZ Wildlife are really uh, cordial and uh, good and hence uh, we, we join hands in what we did. Historically Red Dark occurred in Mdoni Park. Mdoni Park is the biggest natural forest on the south coast and next year it will have been in the trust for 100 years. So we have the centenary next year and to bring the red duck back. Exactly right.